Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number 10 from the June 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper. This is the last question on this paper. And we're given this diagram which shows a sketch of a curve which has an equation which is a bit different than normal. It's x in terms of y. x equals 2y squared plus 6 divided by 3y minus 3. And the question, if you have to read it very carefully, says find dx dy, giving your answer as a fully simplified fraction. So normally we have equations as y with as for some function of x, like y equals some function of x. And we normally have to find dy dx. But here we got x as some function of y. And we have to find dx dy. Okay, but we go about it in a very similar way. So here we have a, a fraction. Okay, we have a, a fraction, quotient. And to differentiate this quotient, what we need to do is we need to use what's called the quotient rule, which is actually, um, you know, given in the formula sheet, actually. The quotient rule, the product rule isn't, but the quotient rule is. But it's very simple. You, or you must choose the numerator as u. So you call the numerator u. So that's 2y squared plus 6. That's u. And the denominator must be called v. So v is going to be 3y minus 3. So you find u dash, which is you differentiate u with respect to in this case y okay we're finding the x dy so we're differentiating with respect to y that's going to give us 4y when you multiply when you differentiate 2y squared plus 6 and when you differentiate v you're going to get 3 differentiate 3y minus 3 you're going to give you 3 so now we're going to find the x dy now the x dy is equal to well what we do is we always start with this side Okay, the V times U dash. So it's V times U dash minus U times V dash over V squared. Okay, so there's a minus between them. So always start with the V times the U dash. So you're going to have 4Y multiplied by 3Y minus 3. Then you have a minus between them. And then you multiply these two together. So it's going to be 3 times 2Y squared plus 6. And then you have to divide by v squared. So v is this, so it's going to be 3y minus 3 all squared. Now, to make it a bit easier, I'm going to write this as 3 times y minus 1. So what I'll do is, to make it um, a bit easier to, simpler to deal with later on, I'll write this as basically 3 times y minus 1 all squared. Okay, so that's the x dy. Now, we want to continue to simplify as much as possible. So what we can do here is we can expand the brackets on the top. There's no common factor at all or anything. So we can expand um, the brackets on the top. There's going to be 12y squared minus um, 12y, okay, and minus 6y squared and minus 18. Be very careful about the signs. Minus times and plus is minus over, and this is going to give me, well, I can square the 3, that gives me 9. I'll leave this in this form for now. and No need to expand it. And now I can try to simplify this. Um, 12y squared minus 6y squared is 6y squared minus 12y minus 18 over 9 times y minus 1 squared. Now, is this as simple as possible? Well, we should try to... Um, well, first, what we could do is we can take out a common factor of 6 from the numerator. That gives you y squared minus 2y minus 3 over... Um, yeah, sorry, over 9 times y minus 1 squared. So we can see that 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3. If I, do, uh, if I divide 6 by 3, I get 2. And 9 by 3, I get 3. So I'm left with 2 times... Now, can we factorize this? We can. Let's see if this helps us. Y, two numbers multiply to give you minus 3, and add to give you uh, minus 2. 3 times 1, so it's going to be minus 3 and plus 1. Okay, and this is going to give you 3 times Y minus 1 squared. Nothing can cancel out. Nothing can cancel out here. So, it's fine. We can leave the answer like this. Or, we could have left it like this. We could have left it as 2y squared minus 4y minus 6 over 3 times y minus 1 squared. This is fine. This is fine. 
so no problem you can try to factorize and solve if you could have cancelled something out it would have been you know possible but we can leave the answer like this both of those are fine okay so there's the answer to part a now for part b um we have it says the tangents at points p and q on the curve tangents at point p and q on the curve are parallel to the y-axis so they're vertical lines basically right so this is x equals basically the y coordinate sorry x equals the the, the x coordinate of q okay x equals the x coordinate of q and this will be x equals the x the the x coordinate of 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 p okay let me write it like this so the, the x will be the x coordinate of q and this will be x x coordinate of p so whatever the x coordinate of q is and the x coordinate of p is will be the equation of these two lines the vertical lines right so if they are parallel to the y-axis if they are parallel to the y-axis they're vertical lines as we just mentioned okay which means that their gradient is undefined if i try to find the gradient between two points on this line okay they'll have the same x coordinate so the change in y okay would be this distance here but the change in x would be zero so the denominator of the of the gradient would be zero which means it's fine so we have dy d, dx dy we can rewrite this as dy dx if you want to just write that as a reciprocal so three times y minus one squared over 2y squared minus 4y minus 6. So we, we know that at p and q, okay, dy dx is undefined. Okay, it becomes undefined when the denominator, the denominator is equal to 0. The denominator. So here we can say that the, the coordinates of p and q will be find, uh, will be found, sorry, when we do 2y squared minus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0. When the denominator is 0, the change in y is 0. Okay, the change in x is 0, sorry. Okay, the change in x is 0, which means you're going to have something that's undefined. So we need to solve this equation. We can make it easier by dividing the whole thing by 2 first. We get y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0. And then solving for y by factorizing and we actually did this in the other page when we were trying to simplify the fraction. Two numbers multiplied to give you negative 3 and add to give you negative 2. It's going to be um, negative 3 and plus 1. So we know that when y equals 3 and y equals negative 1, we're going to have um, these two points. So when, this is when y is negative 1 and this is when y is equal to 3. But what we need is the we need the x-coordinates of those two points. We have the y-coordinate. Now we have p, something minus 1, and q, we have something and uh, 3. But we need to find the x-coordinate of q and the x-coordinate of p, and then that will give us the equation of those two lines. So simply done by, we know that x equals 2y squared plus 6, over 3y minus 3. That's the original equation that we were given. So we know that when y equals 3, x equals 2 times 3 squared plus 6 over 3 times 3 minus 3. Okay, so then the x value will be 2 times 9, which is 18 plus 6, which is 24, over 3 times 3, which is 9, 9 minus 3, which is 6, 24 over 6 is 4. So one of the equations is x equals 4, okay, and when y equals negative 1, so that's the one over here, that's x equals 4, that's that line. When y equals minus 1, we have x equals 2 times minus 1 squared plus 6 over 3 times minus 1 minus 3. That's going to give you 2 times 1, which is 2 plus 6, which is 8 over, that's going to be negative 3 and minus another 3, that's negative 6 which gives you negative, both, 2 goes to both, both of them, negative 4 over 3, so x equals minus 4 over 3 is the other equation of the line, and that's this equation here. Okay, so we have the two equations then of these two tangents, okay, which um, are tangents at the points P and Q on this curve, 
and that concludes this question and that concludes this paper all right um i hope that was useful and beneficial for all of you and if you would like to see other videos from my uh from this paper you can go to the playlist it will be appearing at the end of the video in this area over here other questions from the topic of differentiation which this is from can be found in the playlist that will appear down at the bottom over here of the page and on this left side you'll find a link to subscribe to my channel if you wish to do so and on the top of the page on the left side here you will find a link to a video which explains how to find my index pdf forms where which have links on them that take you to different things that you might want to find okay that might help you with your studies thank you for watching and see you soon